This video will walk you through the out-of-box experience when setting up a brand new NeatBar Pro and NeatPad. We'll also take a look at enrolling the Neat devices into Neat Pulse, which is our cloud-based management and monitoring platform. So all the setup is driven through the NeatPad on the left, and you can see the front of room display as shown from the NeatBar Pro on the right. We will tap on, uh, you select your language first, then tap on continue on the NeatPad. We have four options available here to set up either a brand new NeatBar, NeatBar Pro, which we're doing, a neat pad for room availability as a scheduling panel mounted outside the meeting room or a neat pad for um, additional meeting room control. So we're going to set up a neat bar pro today. Select that and tap continue. The animated installation guides are amazing. You can see you've got different options here and it changes where the, um, the neat bar pro is positioned. So you can go below. Uh, I'll just start the guide to show you what it's like, but it gives you a step by step instruction of uh, what you need to do. So we've got all the pieces there, you tap on next, and then it gives you the first step on what you need to do. You missed all the beast amount, for etc. For example, uh, we'll skip that, but a very handy guide. So the next step is telling us that the neat pad is connected to the internet and the neat bar pro is also connected to the internet. So that's great. As long as they can reach time, uh, time.neat.no and ota.neat.no, but all those firewall requirements are on our support site. So tap on continue. We'll select our time zone here. I am in Sydney. There it is. Tap continue. You can select a 24 hour time if you like that. Continue. If you are commissioning multiple neat devices at the same time, you would see a list of serial numbers here. So just make sure that the serial number of the device you're commissioning matches up to the one you want to pair with. This is pairing at the neat level. So you click on that because that serial number there matches what we can see on the front of room display with the Neat Bar Pro. Then tap continue. And the Neat Bar Pro will emit a sound to let you know that it has successfully paired with the Neat Pad at the Neat level. So tap on continue. And here we will enroll our devices into Neat Pulse. Again, it's all this done on the Neat, the neat Pad. So I'll bring my browser up here. Uh, this is already signed into my Neat Pulse instance. We click here where it says Add Device. You can call this whatever you want and you can rename it later on. Neat Pulse is very easy to use and configurable. Uh, we might assign a device profile because it's um, during uh, enrollment, it can obtain any device settings that you've already pre-configured in your device profiles. We'll set a location here, and then we'll type this code in to the Neat Pad. <clears throat> there is a separate video on Neat Presents on how to get the most out of and use Neat Pulse Control. And that will start enrolling the Neat Pad and the Neat Bar Pro into Neat Pulse. Let's just close that, and then we can see down here when the devices come online, it just takes a minute or two. We'll see some notifications um, on the Neat Pad and the Neat Bar Pro when the Neat Pulse agent has been installed. See the Neat Bar has popped up here and the Neat Pad will appear shortly after. There we go, there's the neat pad. It'll soon say it's enrolled and it will join with the neat bar pro because it knows it's paired and that now shows up inside that room in neat pulse. And as I mentioned, you can rename that on the fly. It's very, very configurable. So that's all done for neat pulse and we'll get rid of the uh, browser. You can see dark mode has been enabled. The neat pad has already picked up the device profile settings that were configured within neat pulse. So tap on continue. I'll share my analytics. And this is where you can tilt the angle of the NeatBar Pro to get the optimal view of the room. Uh, you'll get a live video feed from the NeatBar Pro. I'm happy with that, so continue. And today we're gonna install and sign into Microsoft Teams and set up a Microsoft Teams room. Continue. I'll fast forward through some of this so we're not watching a progress bar. OK, 
Okay, and you can see the message saying you're all set on both the Neatpad and the Neatbar Pro. So tap over here on launch Microsoft Teams to complete the final step where we need to authenticate the Microsoft Teams room. So a code will pop up on both devices. Uh, you need to sign in both devices separately. To do that, bring up a browser uh, and you can see it tells you to go to this URL here, microsoft.com forward slash device login, uh, which I have in my browser. And we'll put in the code here for the Neatbar Pro first. And then we need the username and password of the Microsoft Teams Room Room Resource account that we're going to use. So it's the email address and the password for that account. And shortly we'll see the Neatbar Pro start signing in and we can open up another tab and do that again. for the Neatpad. And because I've already just authenticated using that account, it's uh, still there. So we can just click on that same account to authenticate on the Neatpad. Okay, that's all we need the browser for. This takes, takes a couple of minutes to authenticate and enroll into uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So the Neatbar Pro has finished authenticating and we'll just wait for the Neatpad to sign in and then perform the final pairing step. So we'll pair the Neatpad to the Neatbar Pro at the Teams application level. And now that the Neatpad has finished authenticating, you can see it wants to pair to the Neatbar Pro. So tap on this blue button here. You can see the serial number is the same as the one we saw before. That will pop up a code on the front of room display connected to the Neatbar Pro. We enter this code on the Neat pad. Tap on pair. And we're all done. So the last couple of things you could do is because this is not a touch screen, you could remove these touch screen controls so it's not confusing for users in your meeting room. Go into more then settings device settings, unlock your admin settings with your administrator password. And then scroll down and go into Teams, Teams admin settings, and under general here, you can turn off the front of room display controls. Uh, you could change the wallpaper if you wanted to. You can see the controls disappear straight away there. Uh, you can configure HDMI sharing. Uh, we can have a look at meetings. Uh, you could um, turn off the ability for this room to initiate a whiteboard because it's not a neat board with a touchscreen. And you can also turn on the direct guest join functionality for Cisco WebEx and Zoom room meetings or Zoom meetings. And we are done, all set up and ready to use your Neatbar Pro with the Microsoft Teams Rooms.